to do is wait for this guy here to get past the cornerback. And then you can see he essentially bails. And the second this cornerback slows down, bullet passes it away. And then boom, we hit another one-play touchdown. <laughs> The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some more passing plays, a passing scheme for you guys out of the Niners playbook. The Niners playbook is probably my favorite team playbook. I was using it before I started using the pistol book, and it's the playbook that once I'm done having fun with the pistol playbook, I'm going to go back to. Uh, it's one of the largest ebooks I've made. It's close to 50 pages now since I recently updated all my ebooks. Uh, it's also, uh, I think the Raiders is probably in the same range. They're both around 50 pages long, uh, and they both have this formation, the formation I'm going to highlight today. So whether you use the Niners or the Raiders, you should get a benefit from today's video. Now this is the second video from this scheme. The original video I put out only the first play and I told you guys if you want to see the full breakdown hit the like button and Let me know in the comment section. So this is the full scheme I also want to put out a full breakdown of a playbook on Saturday uh, And I was thinking the Niners would be probably one of the best ones that I haven't done yet If you guys want to see that hit the like button and Let me know in the comment section that video is gonna be over an hour long It's gonna be fully up to date and it's probably the best playbook that I have So if you want to see that like I said be sure to hit the like button and Let me know in the comment section. And I could also put out the full scheme Saints or the full Packers. Those are pretty much uh, a few of the best ones that I haven't done yet. So let me know in the comments section which one of those you would like to see. Full breakdown this weekend uh, on, like I said, either Saturday or Sunday. But for now, let's go and let's pick the PA tight end leak. As far as uh, adjustments to my, uh, you know, my formation, I mean, I am going to be passing a lot. So I could put a speed back at the fullback spot and I could definitely want to make sure I got my best receivers uh, here. But I don't have a great quarterback, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get it done with Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo. On the defensive side, I'm going to try to hit myself with a cover four i hope that the uh the cardinals playbook has a good cover four in here uh but we're going to start off with cover three anyway so let's go ahead and let's pick uh cover three sky just to start now before i get into this video as always this video is brought to you by coin sponsors at moxp.com if you're trying to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order now the only caveat for this play to work against cover three uh and this is different than other cover three plays that i've put out in the past the other cover three plays i put out you had to flat out run it from the from the hash mark for it to work a lot of cover three beaters work very well from the hash mark one of the reasons i really like this play is because you don't have to run from the hash mark but you do have to run to the open side of the field so just the slightest um you know you don't have to be all the way to the hash which obviously can be a problem but being anywhere in the center of the field will work you just have to make sure that you run it to the open side of the field every time and then as far as the setup go i mean you got to love the setup it can't be easier all i'm going to do is streak the tight end and streak the x route that's all you have to do there's no other adjustments needed uh you have a good check down here which is going to be uh the fullback so if you have um you know anybody is uh sending uh you know say you get you get shedded you get an instant shed whatever you have that check down obviously that wasn't a huge pickup but a lot of times you'll have this uh fullback in the flat you can even motion this fullback out to get him a little bit more of a head start and then you can see you could steal 10 to 12 against off coverages like cover three and cover four over and over and over but i'm going for the one play touchdown it's a super easy one play touchdown anyway all you have to do is streak these two guys and the x route here is going to be a, uh, a super quick one play touchdown over the top of cover three now you can see he's going by like five to ten yards there he's not even a super fast receiver we'll go to the replay real quick just to show you guys what to look for because there is a timing thing that i think some people might suffer from because i get people in, in the comment section saying this isn't working and i think it's really based off of timing or maybe they're fading instead of streaking i'm not 100 percent sure but you have to watch this cornerback here this cornerback here is basically going to go stride for stride with this guy to a point you can see right here he's going stride for stride with it but you can see it already starts to kind of go into like a little jog the second he slows down you just you're basically just loading up you, you just you're just gonna watch that cornerback that's all you're doing it's a real simple read i'm not i'm just not looking at anybody else i'm watching that cornerback the second i see him start to slow down i'm loading up and i was probably late here i probably could have threw this a little bit earlier as you can see i mean he comes to if i wait he comes to a complete stop because essentially the way the cover three works now is that he's going to react to this uh this slant coming across the field even though that guy's essentially double covered i mean this is a total glitch like what else could this be if you have a guy that's coming across being double covered by two guys why would that cornerback stop but that's exactly what happens so the second he stops you just bullet and pass leading away from the safety who then becomes the closest guy he's the only guy who's actually running and it's you know it's just a super easy one play touchdown 
And the only thing I would say is, you know, put slide your protection to the left as well. I like to slide my protection in the direction which I'm going to throw. It just makes it a little bit easier for me um, to get this, this throw off. Like, say I don't have enough arm strength. I'm not using Patrick Mahomes here. I'm using Jimmy G. You can see we got plenty of arm strength there. And that was a ton of separation. I mean, I think I was a little late on the throw. I was more paying attention to this guy coming off the edge here. Uh, but you can see, I mean, he didn't really get much of a block. I had to step into this guard. Uh, but you can see, like I said, once I get this ball off, I mean, there's just how much space is here. You know what I mean? He's got 10 yards of separation to the cornerback and 10 yards of separation to the safety. I mean, there's just nothing in the area to, to even come close to stopping this. Now, this is also a really good cover four one play touchdown. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Now, by cover four, I don't mean cover four match. There's cover four match, and then there's cover four drop. Cover four drop or cover four contain, sometimes it's called. But basically, you can see the difference. I'm talking about the one with the dark purples for people that have uh, issues following me on that. So we're going to go with the cover four drop here. This here does not have match principles. Now, the only thing I'm really going to do, motion this guy out. Um, I can put the A route here on a block. I can put the B route here on a smoke. Uh, and the fullback, I don't really need. That's all I really need. I mean, I can put the A route on a drag if I want to check down. These are pretty much the only things that you need to set up to make this play work. And then you can see this guy here. He's just going to cross, uh, you know. And once again, I mean, we're getting really um, a lot of separation here. Where I am on the field doesn't really matter either. That's not important when it comes to the cover four play. But all I'm really doing, I'm just basically uh, shortening these routes so that uh, nothing pulls these safeties back. The second this, this route shortens, you're going to see there's nothing to draw these guys uh, backwards, which is why they get beat, because they essentially come to a stop as well. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really in their area, so they just kind of lays in that area. Now, this guy here, he's coming across screaming. The second he gets inside of the safety, it's the same thing. Bullet and pass through away from that safety. That's all I really need to do. And I was probably a little late on that throw. You can see I'm already starting to wind up. But you can see those guys, they can't flip their hips and get back there quick enough to make a, make a play. So it's really about waiting once this guy gets inside the safety and then bullet and passing away from that same safety. You can see we got an easy one-play touchdown again. And then, like I said, I mean, you have, you know, I, I left myself a series of checkdowns. I leave myself plenty of blocking. You can slide your protection to the right this time because that's the direction that I'm going. They have a pretty good pass rusher in that direction. And now you can see there's nothing really over there. There's nothing uh, to guard against this. You can see, once again, I'm getting a ton of separation. Uh, and these aren't very fast receivers at all, but you can see it's working out really well. Now, cover for match is another uh, covers that I find is getting very popular. A lot, largely might be due to this channel. I know I've been pushing cover four match for a very long time as one of the better uh, defenses in the game. So let's go and let's pick cover four quarters, cover four palms. It doesn't really matter. Just anything that shows, um, you know, cover four quarters, cover four palms are all the same, just as long as you have matching principles, which the easiest way to say it is going to be uh, the light purple uh, defensive zones. Now, this play is going to be a little bit different. The only thing that's really going to change here uh, is I want to motion one of these guys, either the RB route or the Y route over. Now the RB route doesn't go very far. Um, if I really want to motion out uh, the running back, he'll go a bit farther. So I'll just motion him out. He's better. Put him on a comeback uh, and then block the running back. Put the A route on. I'm just going to put everybody else on curls. I'm going to put the A route on a curl. The B route I can put on anything like an out route. Just give myself a check down. It doesn't really matter. But you can go all curls. The curls are going to be the most important part. Uh, and then the X route is really going to be the home run route once again. As you can see, he just kind of gets inside. He's basically in a one-on-one -on -one and we just get a very easy one play touchdown over the top. That's one way to do it. Now, if you want to get a little bit more separation, which obviously you do, if you smart route this X route, I find it does a better job. It'll get open quicker uh, and it'll get open It'll just get open better. So, once again, putting these uh, other routes all on curls, or like I said, you can put the B route and an out route, smart route them, something like that. Doesn't really matter. That's going to give you another good option, though. And then we're going to have the same effect when it comes to this X route. As you can see, these, these cornerbacks just can't really handle those routes. Uh, or these safeties, rather, I should say, can't really handle those routes. Against cover two, I'm going to mirror that look. I'm going to motion this guy out, put him on a streak. That's all I really need to do. Against cover two zone. Then I'm going to block the fullback because he's not really doing anything. Put the B route on a flat and put the A route on a smart route. This is just going to spread the cover two safeties as widely apart as possible. Uh, and then I basically just want to bullet. I'm sorry, not bullet, but uh, pass lead up once he makes that break. As you can see right there, we just split those safeties. That's going to get those safeties as wide as possible when it comes to a play like this. You're going to see typically these safeties will not spread like this. But that streak's going to bring him over and all the adjustments I made are really going to 
and bring him over. I mean, by the time I get to throw him this ball, he's basically on the sideline, which, you know, I mean, wh- how do you expect anything? They're about 50 yards apart. So, like, how do you expect them to cover anything? So, basically, this guy here, I just wait till he out, you know, outruns this, uh, this mid, this mid read. And like I said, I, you can either bullet or lob. I think I lobbed and pass lead up, and he's just going to split that. There's nothing really there. All these zone coverages, you can just streak this B route here. A lot of times, I even like to motion this guy out to give him a little bit of a head start. Uh, and then you can just basically steal this table route all game uh, for an easy catch and run. So that's why, even in the cover three version, I left it there because it's going to be very successful. So no matter what zone coverage you're looking at, uh, you'll always have this table route. He will always be open underneath, especially if you streak that uh, streak that B route. So that's something you can always do. When it comes to man coverages, based off of the formation, a lot of times you'll have inside releases uh, with your receiver. So on a play like like this all i have to do is put the x route here on a smart route you can see before i smart route him he's breaking at about 15 yards or more if i smart route him it'll break to um 10 yards if you're first and 10 second and 10 whatever and in that scenario you'll get an instant easy throw uh inside the, the man coverage cornerback so you can steal that all game and there's other routes that i'm going to show you in other plays where the receiver breaks outside so your opponent won't be able to uh key in on this so to me that's a really good look uh and like i said i don't even like since it's such a quick play i like to pass block the running back i don't even like to do um you know the play action there because this is instant you can just snatch that up and steal that all game and i'm getting 20 yards like nothing uh with this read so that's a really good setup it's not going to one play cover two cover two man but it's going to be a very good play against cover two man and then obviously against cover one man uh you just push you know i'm just going to put the a route on the street just to pull that safety back and you have some pretty good routes uh options to the other two receivers i would say the b route's probably a little bit better so against cover two man i would say the x route against uh, cover one man i would say the b route just basically streak the a route which i just messed up uh but that's okay because like i said this is going to be <laughs> it's going to work either way you don't have to streak the tight end you can leave this tight end doing what he's doing but you have your crossers against pretty much any man coverage. But like I said, the last play is going to be the wide post. you got your man beaters and your, wide, and your zone beaters all in one play. This was the play I was referring to when I said that they're the man beater. You know, if I go with just the PA tight end leak, um, the man beaters inside. But your opponent can't really adjust to that because now I have a man beater to the outside. This X route here will beat man coverage. I don't really care who's in coverage. I don't care if they're, you know, their 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 superstar abilities are maxed out or whatever. Uh, what abilities they have lit up. If you throw this play in in the break on timing properly, it will get open every time. If you throw it out of the break, say you throw it late, you throw it too early, the cornerback will make a play. But if you throw it correctly on timing, when he's in the break, he will be open every time. Like I said, I'll mess up here on purpose. I'll throw it late, and you can see that guy has a chance to recover and make a play. So it's really all about timing. And like I said, the timing is uh, if you throw it when the cornerback basically gets to a point where he's turning his back. These speed out routes, once he gets about here, you can see the cornerback's guy's back turned. That's when you throw it. Bullet, pass lead outside, and boom. The second he turns that cornerback, the, turns the corner, he's wide open for an easy, you know, he's got separation by about three three to five yards by the time the ball's thrown. So it's all about timing, but you can steal this all game against any man coverage. Now, this play also has a very good cover two zone beater, but you have to run it from a hash mark. You have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. All you have to do, motion this guy out, put the, the tight end on the streak. That's all you really have to do. The cornerback should react to these other check and releases, but I find it's best just to put the X route on a drag. Uh, I think that's going to be uh, one of the better ways to go. So basically, all you have to do is wait for this guy here to get past the cornerback, and then you can see he essentially bails and leaves this guy to the safety, and then you have a really easy one play touchdown against cover two. Two. or at the very least a very good catch and run so like i said this guy here eventually this cornerback will drop down to the drag and that's basically when you throw it bullet pass lead away um, you don't even have to do that i mean basically it's just like the cover three plays you just wait for him to essentially slow down and let the receiver pass i could throw it at any point from here on out uh which you can see i'm already basically bulleting and th pass leading away you don't really have to run this from the hash mark either. I just find you're going to have the most success. Obviously, the wider side of the field is going to create more opportunities. And then you can see right here, like there, timing was a little bit messed up because the pass rush, but he still gets passed. So it's not always going to be a one-play touchdown, obviously, but you have a lot of opportunity. And if you run it from the open side of the field, you're going to maximize your, you know, the possibility of a catch and run for a score. 
And then last but not least, this play can once again hit a one play touchdown against cover three, but once again, you have to be on the hash mark. This one here is non-negotiable. You have to be on the hash mark for this to work. All you're gonna do is streak this X route here. That's all you have to do. I'll block my running backs once again, uh, just to give myself some more pass pro. But if you're not on the hash mark, this trick won't work the same way it did with the PA tight end leak. That's why I started with the PA tight end leak, because the PA tight end leak's a better play, uh, based off the fact it can home run just about every coverage in the game. This is the exact same trick as the PA tight end leak but like i said you have to run it from the hash mark from this particular play to work uh and that's why i prefer the pa tight end leak but if you have this if this is the only play you have in your arsenal then this is perfectly fine as you can see once again the cornerback slows down all you have to do bullet pass lead away and you can see i'm already loading up i'm just watching that cornerback the entire way the second that cornerback starts to slow down i'm loading up so there's some very good man beating plays especially man cover one we went over cover two quite a bit uh, obviously the double outs is the exact same play as the wide post you got the speed out on both sides I'll just go over that real fast uh, because you know this is a good play if your opponent starts to try to user the speed out on the one side if you run this more to the center of the field you can basically just beat them up on both sides I mean it's the same it's the same route so that's a really nice play for somebody that's using man if they're getting beat by the speed out on the left you can always just switch over beat them by the speed out on the right if they try to use that side or whatever now you have it on both sides but realistically I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with that it's also a good cover three one play touchdown once again it works the exact same way as the y post this is the exact same thing you have to run it from the hash mark that's pretty much it just going to streak the x route and the second this cornerback slows down bullet pass lead away and then boom we hit another one play touchdown so it's a very similar play with similar concepts uh but obviously the real difference is having man beaters on both sides Another really good man beater that's, once again, very similar to the wide post. You got your cover two beater, which is going to be um, on the right side. Uh, so I'm not going to bother showing that again. But you do have the out and up, which is going to be a very good cover one, one play touchdown. So I would motion this guy out just to get some isolation, put the A route on a streak, block my running backs, uh, slide my protection in the direction of where I'm going to throw. Even smart routing is something that you can do. I find that definitely has uh, some success, but this can be a little hit or miss. You can see he gets behind him. That's the only part that's important is he got behind him at the end of the day. But you'll get uh, you'll get differences as far as the separation goes. You'll get some some variations. You'll get some uh, some huge you know explosive uh, plays. And then sometimes you'll get tight coverages like this where you got to battle for it. So it's not a hundred percent guarantee, but you'll definitely you know it's it can be a little hit or miss. There's a couple of good run plays in this formation as well. Obviously, you have your uh, inside runs like the lead and the iso. You have your outside runs like the toss and the stretch. Uh, tosses and stretches are going to be best against cover three and cover four zones. Uh, the inside runs will be best against cover two because there's no safety in the box. I'm not going to go over those plays because obviously there's no real adjustments. But the play that I will go over is the halfback power O. So let's go ahead and let's put my fullback back in the game. There is one adjustment when it comes to the power O. So we'll go ahead and pick that. When it comes to the power O, I'm just going to flip the play and run it like a counter. Uh, this will essentially uh, open up a hole right over the center there. As you can see, it's like a counter but with no delay. Even when you have a tightly packed box like this, like I said, it's like a counter play uh, just with no delays. You can see this guy here. He comes over, kicks out that block, and you can see you have a hole. Now, I probably could have tried to take this wide uh, and try to outrun this uh, corner, but you can see once I get through that that immediate hole, there's a good 10 yards before there's anybody else even close to me. Uh, and then, like I said, I took it inside because I thought maybe I could uh, make a bigger play. But like I said, it's definitely, you know, it's one man to beat and you're gone. So, like I said, these are these are stack box looks. Uh, I'm still having success getting through that initial hole and getting outside. So even it really doesn't matter how much your opponent really likes to stack the box like these looks. These are not looks that I would say typically you know would would have success here. But you can see I'm having success. I'm getting five to fifteen. This run play here to me is definitely the best in the formation, and this is how I'd run it just about every single time, regardless of what I'm looking at. Uh, as far as the, if there's not an immediate hole, like a lot of times you can just take it right outside. Like right here, that guy goes outside, I got to go inside. I'm really just reading that free defender. There is a free box defender pretty much every time. Like right here, he's in a little bit tighter. I can definitely just try to take this outside immediately. As you can see, the block, uh, you know, basically sets up that way. So I'm really just reading that one guy when it comes to my decision. So right here, he's outside. If he loops outside, I got to go inside. If he doesn't, like right there, he loops outside, got to go inside. Even though my, my 
pulling blocker didn't really come in time because I basically uh, just hit the gas too quick. Uh, but like I said, that's all my that's all I'm reading right, right there. He gets that block, and then you can see there's nothing but space as I'm breaking off another 15 yard run. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.